Hello, and welcome to Time's Ticking. Today we're going to be talking about the meaning behind the jewels in your watch movement. You may have noticed that some watch movements have little rubies in them, and some even have the words 23 jewels or 27 jewels. Believe it or not, these jewels aren't just for show. Well, most of the time. And I'll get right into that after this intro. Jewel bearings were invented in 1704 for use in timepiece movements by Nicholas Fedio de Dweller, who received an English patent for the idea. Originally, natural jewels were used, such as diamonds, sapphire, ruby, and garnet, to combat metal-on-metal -metal wear of the movement, which leads to friction, which in a watch means inaccuracy and vulnerability and can be devastating in terms of watch repairs. In 1902, a process to make synthetic sapphire and ruby was invented by Auguste Vernoul, making jeweled bearings much cheaper. Today, most jeweled bearings are synthetic ruby or sapphire, as they can be cheaply made and have a hardness on the most scale similar to diamonds. In most watches, these jewels are used for all the pivot points in the gear train, as well as in the anti-shock settings and in the high wear parts such as the escape lever and impulse jewel. Those watches with complications also use jewels to reduce friction, and over time, as watches became complicated, the amount of jewels gradually increased. And as it was initially quite difficult to create and set these jewels, the amount of jewels in a movement was an indicator of its quality. A lower end movement from before 1970 would use 5 or 7 jewels. Nowadays, most manual wind watches will have a standard complement of 17 jewels. However, as jewels became easier to produce and set, some brands included jewels in places where they weren't needed, sometimes even to the detriment of the movement. They then heavily marketed this fact so consumers would think their relatively inexpensive watch was of a higher quality. Your watches may have different amounts of jewels due to specific movement design. Automatic watches have additional moving parts that would require jewels to reduce friction. Automatic movements are under constant heavy wear as the rotor spins and almost constantly transmits power to the mainspring. Automatic winding movements and movements with additional functions, such as chronographs and calendars, can up the total number of jewels tremendously. For example, an IWC manual winding watch claimed to be among the most complicated wristwatch manufactured, had a total of 76 jewels to accommodate the time, perpetual calendar, retroponte chronograph, repeater, and torbulin functions. In conclusion, jewels ensure a watch can function for longer periods between servicing and also ensure that the damage to high wear points is greatly reduced. It is worth noting some brands have brought back the use of chatons, a difficult technique where small brass and gold settings are used to fit the jewel into the movement plate. And in some watches, the setting of jewels is almost an art form. Hello, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and check out our similar videos right here. If you want to stay up to date with the new and interesting content that we create, you can subscribe to our channel, which is linked right here. And lastly, if you need any help with your watch, make sure to go to our Times Ticking website, which is linked right here. See you next time.